the ball. Big shit, it's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not you know, my dad. Hey, you did you get that? Not, not what? Not, not, not who what? <laughs> <laughs> Say George I Jackson. English and then George Jackson. Jackson. I spoke English. Oh, okay. Hey, <laughs> hey that voice you hear, George Jackson, man, is in the building, man. Thank you so much for coming on Boss Talk 101. Oh, man. Thank y'all for having me, man. It's a pleasure. It is a pleasure, man. Just good to be talking with you, man. Um, so, man, uh, you've been busy. Super busy. I seen you, I believe it was last night. You was on a live and you was talking about. I think it was my uh, Chinas Myron lost his page. I'll be yeah, watching you for sure. And a lot of people lost <laughs> a lot their page. Of people have been losing. I it. don't know what the and what not happened. Even, and not even just losing it. Like before, when I would tell somebody to look us up on Instagram, they could just put in Boss Talk and it'll pop up. Mm-hmm. They have to now type out the whole entire name for it to pop up. Do you yeah. have any insight on it? Um, well, Facebook is just cracking down um, on on the content period. So there, uh, some of the older stuff that Myron had posted on his page um, was still getting flagged. So, mm. you know, um, I've never had any problems on my page, but everything is clean. And, every, and then if it's questionable, I just don't post it because my page is monetized and I ain't got time to be messing around my money. Mm-hmm. So it's a uh, they're just really, really cracking down Even on from stuff. day one. Huh? Even from day one, it's always been like that. Oh no! It's it's everything is more sensitive now. So no, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the content that you've posted before. Oh yeah, because, definitely. Always. Yeah, because I'm sure that he forgot about a lot of that stuff that he posted before, and you know, yeah. tried to clean it up. Yeah, you got to go clean it all up now because they're going back and um, uh, they're flagging anything that's inappropriate at all. So you can't take any chances now. It's uh, it's serious. It's wow. all about the money. <laughs> so when you when you look at um, just these platforms. How important are they for your career now? You know, it, it's crazy how it changed the dynamic of how people even are looked at or recognized. Oh, yeah. I and mean, when you look back, I'm talking about just not even long ago to 2010, no, 2000, maybe 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 2010. Mm-hmm. You say, I might get on Facebook. I don't know. I'm not getting on that stuff. A lot of old people say, we ain't getting on that damn Facebook. Yeah. Much Do less, you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Much less Instagram but, when Instagram Oh, they, they really that wouldn't was get on Instagram. But Facebook, when it first came out, I was like, no, nah, nah, we're not going to get mm-hmm. on that. Now you can't keep That's them on. That's the mess. old folks' page. You know? And for someone like me who's an influencer, actor, producer, you if um back in the day if you got in a movie, you know, that was all you needed. You know, that would hold you for a year, a year maybe two years. Um, Now... You got about 45 days to mm. maybe 60 days of hotness um, when a movie drops as I'm going to be way more popular um, by being seen every day, seven days a week through all the platforms and somebody who got in a major movie because everything is so quick now. Once they've seen that, it's like, OK, what else you got? So the social media platform is super, super important, especially when you're trying to build a brand. You got to be on all of it too. You can't just say, well, I'm going to do this particular one. I'm just going to do that particular one. If you're not on all of them, then you're taking a risk of um, your brand not squeaking through one of the ones that will build the other ones up as well. But how important is it to have a backup page in today's society with what's going on, especially on Instagram? Because I noticed that with Cheating Ass Marin, he had a backup page, although he didn't have as many people on there. Mm -hmm. Because you could put out something, and and this is the bad part, like, God forbid, but, you know, they took that page, but then you have the backup page. You don't have enough people on there to get that page monetized yet, but you put something on it and it goes viral. Well, as long as it goes... As long as it goes viral, that's what's going to build the page back up anyway. Right, it's and going to, but then that's a lot of money you just missed out on, too, if it was already monetized. Yeah, well, I mean, you weren't making any money before you started building it, so that's 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 really just a part of the process. But you can just, um, you know, knock on wood, I hadn't had any problems. I don't have a backup page at all. I just post stuff that's just not risky, stuff that's going to be relatable, stuff that people um, are going to enjoy, and then you won't have any of those problems. Right. So it's... it's um. 
it's tough, but you start to learn the formula. You know what I'm saying? I know the formula of Facebook. I know the formula of um, each platform. So I just don't play with it. You know what I'm saying? I just post different on each one of those. And if you do it right, money in your sleep. It's amazing. How important is it to know your analytics? Oh, analytics is um is everything. So you need to know when your fan base is online. You need to know uh, if, if you're getting that connection. A lot of people don't understand. They got great content. They got a lot of followers, but no engagement because they're not engaging with their fans. You got to get on there. At least I go two to three times a day, but people rush to my lives because they're going to hear their names. A lot of people don't understand uh, when someone is a fan of yours, that's the biggest thing in the world. We all are fans of somebody. Could mm -hmm. you imagine if you go on and, and Michael Jordan says, yo, what's up, man? What up, <laughs> or e? shout out to Bulls Talk e? 101. Oh, that's you, it for me. It's amazing. No, I'm automatically acting funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I really can't act the same after that because nobody else, he ain't hollering nobody. So he that's actually, important. Yeah, that's very important. And and a lot of times people won't take the time to do that. They're like, okay, I'm, but my fans are steady saying that in the comments. That is so cool that you say, that you take the time and say, and I'm literally, there's hundreds and hundreds of people Every time I go I live, thank you, such and such. Thank you, such and such. Thanks to every last one of them every time. And it's really, really um, improved um, uh, uh, my engagement. Like, And I wasn't doing it for that, but I just noticed that's what it is. So now all of a sudden, you're a friend instead of a fan. So if Jordan comes to Houston... I can't miss Jordan's show because, you know what I'm saying, we're family. I got to go. I got to go purchase that ticket so that I can support him and see him. And now with the implementation of stars um, on Facebook, which I've only uh, been. They just gave it to me because it's invite only. But, mm -hmm. man, that's an amazing thing because your fans are able to support you in everything that you're doing by sending you stars. Donations. And you're able to make the money through that, which is. Really, really cool. And they got Clubhouse now, mm -hmm. a version of Clubhouse on Facebook, on Facebook. that's phenomenal. Because they realize that a lot of people are still on Facebook. As much as the younger kids sort of came off because they're like, oh, that's for the older folks. But the older folks are more of that stable. Yeah, which that Facebook generation. has always been that anyway. Instagram has been more of your younger audience. And Facebook is, uh, is you know, grown folks. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That, and that's why uh, Country Wayne is so successful because those are real people with 401ks, you know, because mm -hmm. his age group is, 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 is probably 30 to 85. He, he got grandmothers and all those things that are coming through. So it's a different, um, he, those analytics are, are, are phenomenal because when you're hitting and some 25 year olds, cause when I'm going on stage, I'm like, uh, uh, 20 and above makes some noise. It's like <laughs> 30 and above 40 and, and boom. And, and on the way up, it's, it's, lit up and you know we don't even do comedy clubs anymore we're in theaters and we're talking three thousand seaters and it's just amazing what's going on right now like yeah. super so, super amazing yeah yeah you so you feel good about where where, where your platform your brand oh man that you work yes on yes yes god the is hard blessing, work, right god is so god is so good and the hard work is paying off and I'm able to help others, which is which is super, super cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to 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 shoot content. I'm able to fly from from city to city and get the greatest content out there and just put some really, really good people together. So and it's just a start. So. I see you with this this I think it's a heavy set Hispanic guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, you yeah. with uh, munchies. <laughs> a couple of different girls, a lot of different girls. You'd be like <laughs> a, a couples. He'd be like, "Hey, um, um, did you um, um, oh, y'all look happy today?" I'm yeah, like, yeah, the happy dude, couples. This dude is tripping. <laughs> I said, and then he start going into it, and he find out that it's not as happy as you <laughs> might think. <laughs> yeah, that's so. How did you come up with that? Um, I actually did one one time, and uh. I just needed a series that I wanted to do, but I was like, okay, well, let me, let me just try this out and see, you know, cause anybody's in a long relationship knows it's, it's, it's tough. You, oh, know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of things that go on with that. And if you're being interviewed, you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to get that Oscar, <laughs> but don't nobody know what's going on behind the clothes. No, 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 you know no, what I'm saying? No. You can, all you see is the, the relationships that's being represented in the public. So yeah, when right. you see like, oh, they're such a great couple. Mm -hmm. They just love each other. So to be able to flip that and allow somebody to say what they really wanted to say was and have some fun with that, 
uh, a lot of people kept saying, I really like these. Do another it's one, dope. do another one, do another one. And uh, it took off. It's dope. That's you awesome. Go ahead. No, I, I wanted to know, um, with your engagement with all your um, supporters, do you actually go through and read each and every comment? Every time. Every single comment. Every DM, every, yep, and I respond to everyone. And it takes, sure a, it, it, it takes time. And that's, that's a job in itself, right? Yeah, it is, but... It, the results um, are 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 just worth it. Now, will I be able to do that when the movies and all that stuff come? Probably not, but mm. I'll still be trying my best to answer as many as I can. You're because hire somebody you need to your it. fans. <laughs> no, it's not the same. Yeah. Give, me, want give me the game, man. Um, so when you answer these people, they if you don't follow them, because um, it goes to that box. I'm trying to figure out how do I answer them without it. It just it, you gonna put it in general or yeah. You gonna just slide it over to general? Yeah, yeah I just slide it over to general because it says all requests, and yeah. so you know, if there's something crazy, you just delete that. Yeah, you but, know, but which, the, the one that where people are talking sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, just, yeah. you just put general. it in general, and then go ahead and just you got answer a lot of work the question. To do. Put it all them in general. That's in that DM. You know what I said? <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> what I said, what I said, I need to do. <laughs> I keep saying I need to because I know you. You look at your stuff every single day. Yep. I keep saying because I have so much things I'm trying to balance. I'm like I'm just gonna. Put it to one day, okay, y'all. I'm gonna check all my DMs and respond to all my DMs yeah. on this day. You got to, and the people, man, they're like serious, like, oh my god, you didn't. And 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 once you once you set that precedence, you gotta you you gotta, you gotta stay they looking it. for it. People come in, and I might have missed one. Day. You didn't say my name. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, damn. I'm like, oh my bad. Let me go ahead and get but back. But your you engagement know. is so much better when you go live. Oh and man, stuff. yeah. And and the, the fact that Facebook runs the commercials through you live, you know, that's mm -hmm. another stream of um of, income of revenue. So I, I I love the fact um, of that. I love how fast my page is growing. I, when I started it's growing. It's four growing. months ago, it was at seventeen thousand. I'm at a three hundred and seventy-eight thousand. Wow. So I see it's it. growing fast. And then I just so happen to be one of the guys linked to him. I feel so good about it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, hey, a good thing. You need the connections to everything. The guy I shot this movie with built a great connection with him, and now they're coming to Atlanta. And we're gonna shoot two more films. That's dope. And that's and I'll tell anybody that's out there that's um that's that's in the entertainment industry, um don't always be so caught up in you know how much money something's going to pay because they they reached out they said let listen we don't have a lot of money but this role we just feel like you are the Benny that's supposed to be in this movie and if you could just work with us and I said all right man that's cool man you know I ain't really got nothing to do you know as long as you do it around this tour. I don't got a problem doing it. so they flew me out to Cleveland I got down there man and they the budget money was low but the production was high because they of the people that they knew mm -hmm. so it's a dope movie I just didn't get a whole lot of money which you know that that that's fine but to have something like that on my on resume, resume that yeah. looks so good. It's going to be right. a great look. And Glad name, I did it. And what's the name of the movie? Workout Partners. Workout Partners. Yeah. Hey, hey, are you, you got a star so role in that thing? Yes. Yeah. My boy and who is your workout partner? Huh? And who is your workout partner? Oh, no, I'm not my workout partner. I'm, <laughs> I'm just on the team of the guys that uh, 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 so it's about diabetes and different things that um, mm -hmm. that are going on um, in today's world. But originally they had wrote like this little small part for me. I was supposed to be in like one or two scenes and then um, I did so good with the characters that they just stretched the thing out for the whole movie. Wow. <laughs> it just brought me back in. So, uh, you know, shout out to uh, Barry Films and uh, the city of Cleveland. We shot a great, great uh, uh, movie down there and we're going to shoot another one in Atlanta. So be looking out for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you mentioned diabetes, um, we had an interview um, payback in Las Vegas yeah. and he has a thing called check your risk mm -hmm. that he pushes out because there's so many people especially men who do not ever check their risk of diabetes yeah until you hear that you have to cut off a finger cut off a foot you know stuff like that yeah so, which is our whole culture which is kind of messed up you know it's 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 funny but it ain't funny because when it comes to most most men especially in our culture you know it's something got to happen before it, we don't just want right. to just go and, and you know, yeah, you, ain't about that. Well, no, I know you need to, like most of the time is it's, it's it's your significant other that's saying, "Hey, you need to go get this checked. You need yeah, to go." You're right, right like, there. Yeah, I got him. Got him. I'm gonna do that I'm next week. The hell out of me. Yeah. But you know, because in my own thought process, I'm like, man, I'd rather just fall out than than to go down there and they tell me some bad news and, most and I got to live. With most that. men, that's what I got to live with that the rest of my life. You know, that's going true, on. Yeah, I'd rather man. just go than to know I'm going in two weeks. <laughs> So See, you, and we women go all the time to check up. Yeah, for sure. sure. And that's good. You need to. But uh, anyway. 
Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> How is, is it is a, <laughs> is half of um, like like when you when you first started off? Did you think you'd be where you're now? Uh, I knew God gave me a gift. I just didn't know where that gift was going to lead me. I never knew, definitely didn't know that uh, Country Wayne was coming to to bring me a part of his journey. Um, which is which is so amazing. Shout out to KWE, Country Wayne Entertainment, and the whole crew. Uh, we just picked up uh, 35 plus cities with Live Nation starting in February. So wow. um, yeah, that's a, that's a huge movement. All theaters. Um, so God is good, man. It's it's, it's a huge movement. The, the, and when y'all come into Texas? When y'all come oh, to Texas, oh man, we taking over Texas. We got Houston, Dallas. When, when is Dallas? Uh, I need I need to put it in my calendar. Oh, no, when is Dallas? We don't even um. Those are just the cities they haven't given us the dates. Well, yet. Just, you so, need to let us know. Oh, definitely. Just, we just definitely be gonna clear. Be there. We definitely gonna rock it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. And we definitely, I, I'm definitely trying to get rolling. I love to get country, country Wayne. Wayne. They've been going everywhere, man, doing uh, press Yeah, run. if you catch him at a time when he's not super, super busy, ah, he's that ain't really no, good. He'll never he's, catch this guy. Huh? Nah, if, I mean, there's people that, that, that have caught him. Caught he's, him. Done a, he's done a lot of... Um, I see, I see the he's the type of person the, that'll do stuff. Like, well, like, I he see the never bigger caught up platforms. In that. Like, I don't know. You know Breakfast Club. Nah, no, he's done a way more than that. Really? Yeah, I'm with him. I guess that's why you. those are the ones we see. Yeah, you're going to see those because of those I have one, but he's he's done so much... He, he, you know, he, he's done Pierre's podcast yeah, some stuff with comedy yeah. hype a uh, few people that just are trying to get their thing going he and he just to, swung in there yeah, dope, he, he's man. the type of person that, that that tries to be a blessing to everybody when he can you oh, know, when you're that, that busy Jesus, it's hard well, when he you got, like when a pretty dope dude when you wear the shirt say Jesus is popping we wear a boss talk he'll say Jesus is popping <laughs> I really was upset when I seen it because I was like I should have come and thought of that <laughs> this dude is dope because Jesus is definitely popping definitely popping man so um, are you what, when the next movie you know once you get the you know feel of it it's time to go. Oh, well, go, go. I'm actually, you're doing maybe to here. write your own because oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I already have one. Um, you do? I'm writing on now. Yeah, called uh, "Get Your Life Together," starring some funny, funny people here um, in Atlanta. So um, I'm working on that now with the actual writer uh, of this workout partners because I know how to do the. Uh, putting scenes and stuff together because that's how I do skits, but I don't know nothing about that exterior, interior, all mm -hmm. that, but he knows that stuff. So um, me and Brian you. are working together on that. I'll be sending him the meat of the script and then he'll just um, put all that other stuff on top of it. So I'm looking forward to that. When are you going to start filming? Um, that'll be in uh, February. In February. And yeah. what is your goal for it to be out? Um, I'm hoping that this series will, uh, go ahead and let some people see the writing skills that I have. Cause a lot of times when they see the skits, they don't know that, you know, I'm the one that's putting that together, cashing it and put, so this will really be the first time that my name has been stamped on something written, directed and produced by um, Jordan mm -hmm. Jackson. So I'm looking forward to that. It's that's so, going to be out. It's so funny because all the actors that we have um, interviewed recently, who even sometimes some of them are first time actors in plays or in movies, their next step is always, writing their own thing. yeah you gotta do you gotta do your own stuff which i've been doing that but it's hard to come up to somebody and say hey put uh three million five million dollars behind me money. and you don't have anything done you know once you have something done and then you'll say okay well and i have that done plus go look at my numbers so obviously i know something we're talking six million ten million twelve million hundred million on some a couple of different videos so obviously my writing is there it's just um it no one has came and wrote that check and said uh That's what let's I was get just about this to let's ask get this you together if so. you've gotten your fine are you financing this yourself uh, this one you, i'm definitely financing this myself one you're financing yeah. yourself. me uh thanks and uh, uh i got one supporter facebook thank you appreciate it <laughs> Long as they keep cutting them checks, I can cut my own check. You know, you know what I'm saying? Shout Facebook, out to Facebook. Facebook and Instagram work hand in hand. Yeah. What well, you seem like he's more partial to Facebook than Oh, yeah, yeah. Facebook writing they big, big checks. They say that's the ones who write your check. Yeah, Instagram writing a little 3000 yeah, a month. Really? Now. So Facebook they, is where you need to go. they me. Uh, I'm going to call them. They, they, they say post on a reel, you'll get this. Is that really true? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's real, but... The, the reality why do you keep of that. saying that? No, I mean, you they money? want you to do reels because they're trying to they're trying to take TikTok out. You know that's the objective. So the more but that they you're posting, to me. I ain't seen eight hundred yet. Oh no, because you're gonna have to um in order to get it's yours on eight hundred supposed to be eight thousand. No, nah, this would say eight hundred. I seen it's, it's oh, so it's different ones. Well, but the thing is, you have to hit the criteria. You don't just get to posting. You gotta hit. You have to have. I think they um. 
different ones for the different amounts. Because I know mine to get eight thousand, you got to have over uh, over a million um, views. Views, yeah. You got to get that meal ticket. <laughs> yeah. But the the reels are easier though because you just you you just yeah. do simple. You know, just simple things. I like things. reels more than anything else. Even yeah, on they're Instagram, fast. Like they're... you can do a reel right now. You say, "Oh, thank. Welcome to the clean show." Oh, we ain't supposed to be cussing on this one. See, that's dope. It's my ego. That's my ego. Reels are simple. I, you know what you said? You said something. You was like, "Once you go viral, you could just you could go anytime." I'm like, "Man, go to hell, man. I'm not going to viral like that." Yeah, but you will. You just got to keep going. Huh? Well, you know, we just went viral the other day. Yeah, so if you go once, you can go a million times. That's what he That's said. It. In my mind, I heard it right after that. After I said, no, nah, it wasn't that easy. If you've done it once, it's in you. Like I said, the very first video that went viral was me and um, Pretty Ricky, the nail salon skit. Got yeah. over 200 something million views. It's everywhere. Every famous person that you could think of shared that skit. It was on the Shade Room, World Star. Uh, uh, any platform that you can think of, Michael Bay's Den, the, the Breakfast Club, everywhere. It was a topic of discussion in every beauty salon and ab about the fact that if a guy with no job, how can you tell a woman that she can't get her nails done <laughs> and you ain't working? But, and, you know, my fans would come, it's, a, it's just a skit, you know, because they, boy, they was lighting me up. <laughs> I was the topic of discussion in every barbershop of use across America, but the thing is with that skit that should have showed me right then i should have took off from right there but i didn't even i didn't think about it you know the skit hit that f platform first of all because i was live and i was the first person to do an actual live skit and they thought it was real mm -hmm. so when i decided to go to facebook and i made took that platform back and i decided to make my own lane and make all my skits seem real rather than just skits that's when they kept going up because the people are looking at them. By the time they realize the skit is already over with, mm -hmm. but you're going to be engaged. Like what in the world? Because if it's a skit, you're not going to be 30 seconds into right. land. But if it looks real, you're trying to get to the bottom of it to see what's going to happen. That's what happened. He explained exactly what happened on our show. That's how that went. Because he stormed out. Because it, it was real. It was real. Mm -hmm. and, and they seen it. And, and after they seen it, they was like, what's happening next? Yep. And he hollered at the end of it, hey, hey. And they didn't know what the hell happened. And everybody started calling me. And hey, what happened after that? Hey, two. what happened after that? And I wouldn't put it out either to the next day or so. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it was, it kept going, kept going. The realest stuff is going to always, always end. So it, it could be like um, we're in the middle. We're not live, but they thinking that we're live. And you guys are interviewing me. And then all of a sudden, she's laughing at everything I say, and you get madder and madder. <laughs> and and you're sitting there thinking, and then y'all just have a full blown argument on air, but we're not on air. They're but thinking they, it's they on gonna air. love it. That, it's gonna go super far because the the caption is couple get in an argument on the air. <laughs> See that? See what I mean? And, and just That's like how he do it, and, he knows. And, like and then some people too. think, you know, it's funny, and some people are relate, relating relating yeah, to it. Yeah, like, yeah, because come on. Okay, y'all can tell me y'all self that y'all don't argue or y'all got the greatest relationship sure. in the world. I wouldn't believe you because you I'm shouldn't. in a relationship. We I know. would never say that. Though. We, <laughs> we say that. would never, we say, would never that. say that. Though. Because that's what makes a relationship strong. They gotta, yeah. there, there has to be there has to be a little bit of, of, of back and time. forth and tension yeah. for you to appreciate what you got. If everything is always cool, uh, that ain't no fun. Yeah, one hundred percent true. Um, what you got? Talk to me. I, I can say this. How, have you ever been on stage and things go get a little ugly for you? You know, it's funny. I've been in I've been on so many shows where there's been a uh, where there's been hecklers that heckle everybody. And I got my ammunition ready to go. And I get up there and they say nothing to me. And uh -huh. I'm like, what the hell? What is your you ammunition? You just heckled. No, I just, what, I'll just look you at got them. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at them. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Say something, bro. <laughs> I already wrote eight jokes. You don't even know. I'm ready for you. <laughs> and nothing. But then I talk to a lot of my comedian friends and a lot of friends. And they're like, well, you have the likability that you go up there. People, a heckler is not going to heckle you as much because he, he wants to finish what you got, what you're actually saying. Right. So they're so engaged into it that they may leave you alone. And I was like, man, that's crazy because, you know, I'm, I, 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 I want to smoke <laughs> and can't get it. Who do, who do people say you rem, your company remind them of? Oh, all the time is Jimmy Walker, you know, so it's oh, a Cat yeah, Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
shout out to Cat Williams who actually took the time and came into the green room at uh, my home club, Atlanta Comedy Theater, forty six fifty Jimmy yeah. Carter Boulevard. Yeah, 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 shout out to that. We was just why we met you. At. Oh, yeah, so he came into the green room uh, after I just got through doing the set, and he was like, "Man," he said, "I was watching you the whole time, and you said nothing about Jimmy Walker, and your likeness really reminds me of him." And uh, he was like, "I think you should do something." on your set, you know, to acknowledge that because it's an elephant that's in the room. I was like, nah, I'm not doing that because then it'll be a gimmick and people need like, Hey, he's like, I'm, you know, you don't have to listen to me, young man, but I'm telling you, um, <laughs> I was money Mike until I wasn't anything that's going to get you through the door. You should use that. Cause he was like, mm-hmm. I can tell you right now, um, Jimmy Walker was an icon to a lot of people that's that right. will get you in the steps of Hollywood, but you ain't got to listen to me. Young man, but I'm telling you. <laughs> This is what you should do. Now, if you don't want to listen to it, that's on you. But uh, like for him to actually come into the green room and take the time to say that just shows you the type of person that Cat Williams is. Because, wow. you know, this this was early in my career. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't have to come in there. I was just opening. And he literally took time, pulled me to the side, and told me that. As and you what? mentioned him, I, I need to get him because he'll be in Dallas really soon. He has a tour coming I'm up. I'm trying to figure out, did you start doing the skit, the Jamie Walker skit and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We Are did, you we, go we, hard we, with it? Yeah, we did some really, really funny stuff. But a lot of people have been on me about like trying to get a real actual series going. Wow. Um, it, Cause they think that'll be pretty, it would pretty be. special. It would be. Yeah. So I've been working on the guy. I got a guy who does edit, who did one where he actually edited me in the living room of a, a, a good times. It was really, really good. It took a long time to do, but I was like, what if we could take that Jimmy Rocker and put him in other series like the Brady Bunch? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, wow. damn, Alex, you ain't making no color greens or nothing. <laughs> and just have some fun with that character. I think that would be cool. And these ideas just come to your mind. Oh, oh, he's oh, yeah. oh, oh man, he's God. He, he, the creativity, he has really put uh, uh, in my mind. Have the, you what? always been like that as a child? Yes, yep. You remember the white JJ that woke up that morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. That'd be a good one. You'd find that a skinny be, white boy. That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, I, but you know, the funny thing is, I can do JJ or uh, uh, Gilligan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Skipper. Right. Uh, man, so. Uh, that, I have one question. Oh, go ahead. You've been doing this for a while now where you should know your fans and seem like you engage really well on social media. Is there a fan that has been around with you from day one that still by your side that you can pick out and be like, this person has always. Oh, wow. That's such a tough. There's so many. Um, I got the twins. See, I don't like to do the name drop because then they interview. Yeah. Hey, you got to get me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can only think of the certain ones, yeah. you know what I'm saying, From that have always one. been there. Crystal. Uh, there's a million names, though. There's Zelda Brown. There's Crystal. There's uh, 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 Troy. And Roy Beachman, um, there, there's so they're many. From everywhere around the world. Yeah, these people have been, and and they, it, it, and all of those were mostly Atlanta, with with the exception of Ohio. But you know, there's a lot of people that support um, the movement. But there's a lot of comedians too. You know, Cheetah Naz Myron, Munchies, uh, uh, Kiana Dancy, Zoo Man Miller. Uh, shoot, there's so many people. Atlanta Comedy Theater that were uh, that were help helping with the success but then country wayne came and took it to a whole another level mm-hmm. because he's dropped knowledge on me million dollar knowledge because you know he's the only millionaire that i know like truly know you know that people got bread but that i seen go from ten thousand to a million plus right in front of my eyes so the knowledge and he's never as soon as he finds out something like Jordan, I just found this out, man. You need to implement this. You need to like he's always trying to bring there you to make sure that he wants his team to to to, 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 to eat and be self sufficient. A lot of times, people they had a bag and they they try to give you enough to where you're dependent on them. He doesn't operate like that. He don't want you to be dependent on him. He wants you to be self sufficient. If you need him, I'm I'm here for you. But he wants you to be able to to, to have your own. Which is which is super super great because that's what we need to teach men and um, uh, 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 our brotherhood anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Teach them the formula so that they can start their own kingdom as well. But has he given you the formula for? Because I've seen some people who started from here and has gotten all this money and got a big head with it and changed. But it seems that he hasn't. He definitely has not changed, and I and and and, and I praise him for that because I'm not gonna make that promise. Uh, I'm gonna change my address, my location, and my number. Um, but I'm being real. I didn't say I wasn't gonna change because I ain't got change no more. <laughs> so you know, it, it to see him do it is 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 just 
incredible, but he's a man of God. You know what I'm saying? Just like I'm a man of God. You know, I haven't met anyone who that's on tour that has Bible study. I haven't met anyone who reads their Bible every day or call me up and say, hey, Jordan, I'm about to read this Bible. You trying to hear? Yes, sir. I'm trying to hear that. You know, so when you got a, a covering like that of anointment, that's good stuff. ain't nothing that's going to be able to stuff, touch man. you or be able to say, stop say, you. Is that good stuff that. or what? I love it. We, I've never heard that on here. That's yeah. dope. And you know, that just I've makes never me, heard that. You know, it, that just makes me want to meet him even more. Who, country mm-hmm. What He coming. Oh, no, for sure. sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. No, we we going to make that happen in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, have the yeah. stuff ready. Yeah, oh, we always <laughs> we ready in my studio. Ready. We stay but, ready. But that, yeah, that's easy there. But the thing I, I look at, man, is we need more of a you guys. Like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of so much stuff, the negativity that's injected yeah. out there. This is needed so bad. We're not cutting anybody out. You know what I'm saying? That you come to our show. I don't know how many other ones out there. And I'm not knocking anyone who does the different type of shows, but we're doing a family show that everyone can come to. We're doing clean comedy. So to be out there and, you know, a lot of people told Country Wayne that he, that, that he couldn't do it. We did New Orleans. We did Richmond. We did uh, uh, a couple of other cities. And... You know, he was told, oh, it's too early. You can't go out there by yourself. You need to do package shows and all this different stuff. And he stepped out on faith and and did it on his own. And when I tell you Baltimore and the rest of these, they sold out 3,000 seaters, New Orleans, all these different cities because he stepped out on faith and decided to do it on his own. And boom, there it is. The, the results you is know, a live sorry, nation. Are you good? But you know what or who comes to mind when I'm hearing you speak about all of this, for some reason, it's Tyler Perry when he just started with the Medea going around and so forth and how it grew and how mm-hmm. everybody gravitated to yeah. him and how, how it stayed clean but really funny. Yeah. You know, you don't I mean? cut anybody out. Right. And I can see oh. that, you know, all of that turning into, as you said, movies, just like it did for him and so forth. So I just love it. Man, it's worth loving, man. You guys, hey, man, you great, man. I appreciate you for coming on the show. Oh, man, I appreciate hey, y'all having me. We got some three. good knowledge out there. Top three. Comedians of, of all time. All time. Ooh, we. Uh, for me, you know, because it's always going to be, it's always gonna be see, questionable. Let me but, see uh, gonna say Richard Mine Pryor. are, mine are. just say that? <laughs> man, <laughs> you, you're not a comedian if Richard Pryor is <laughs> yeah. not in your top yeah. three <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So you, I got Richard Pryor, Dave Chappelle, Bill Cosby. Okay, Those are my three. Okay, that's your order? Huh? Number one, he, is he number one, number two, and number three? Oh, uh, no. Uh, to to me, one. Dave Chappelle is going to be number one. Okay. Wow. Richard Pryor will be number two. Bill Cosby, number three. Okay. Man, that's good stuff, man. Okay. Uh, say, no man. females? Dang. Uh, uh, I mean, bad is to me. <laughs> this might give me a little trouble, but the, to, the best female comedian, I think that you don't even look, you just look at her as a comedian would be some more, in my opinion. Wow. Mm. Okay, and I'm not saying that the rest of them aren't good because I love me some Monique and Lunell and and Gianna Dancy and a lot of these other um, female comedians. But to me, some more is she's she, she's my number one when it comes to uh, female comedians. Wow, that's cool. So um, the thing I, I just appreciate you for coming on oh, the show. Oh man, I appreciate I, y'all I appreciate for you having you mentioning God on the show. Oh, exactly. always. Man, I appreciate you for letting me in on the fact that I'm not the only one that prays. Mm. We don't with my it. team and read the Bible. With my team and read my we Bible. Study, we do we Bible study, study every week. It's, yep. it's, it's, and that's it's, why in a year from now, this is going to be the number one radio show wow. out there because I'll it's coming. It's coming. You got to speak it into existence when you're spiritual. You know what that means, mm-hmm. man. That's crazy. But is there anything else that we forgot to how talk about? Follow? How can they? How can they catch up with you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, you can follow me at the Jordan Jackson Show on YouTube, and then all other platforms are. At who is Jordan Jackson? And you remember he said he does respond to everyone. That's so right. So hit hey, him up. Come say we, I heard you on uh, Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Hey, hey. <laughs> can, can, and, and did we leave out anything? Right. Yes. Did That's we leave what you out about anything that um, maybe you're tackling? Which you um, that uh, my book right now is on um, Amazon. It's doing very very well. If you're looking to get into uh, uh, learning how to monetize your platforms. This is a really inexpensive book. This will be the best uh, $14 you've spent if you're just stuck and don't know how to get your get your get um, the money up or you're not getting monetized or you just don't know where to start. This is a very, very good book, How to Monetize Your Social Media Platforms by Jordan Jackson, available on Amazon right now. Wow, I don't want to talk on, on one thing before we go. Um, how... Because I've seen where in the film industry or even comedians, um, mental illness today is a serious disease. 
And some people can use comedy to hide the hurt that they are feeling inside. Mm -hmm. What do you think about mental illness and how can people try to um, get help, so to say? Well, I mean, if if, if you're not going to talk to, uh, if you don't really want to talk to certain people or counsel, you need to talk to somebody. You know, it, it's very important. And people don't understand, comedians entertainers period they go through a whole lot of stuff mm. that they hold on the inside and we're, we're we can sh make you think that everything is okay because we're we're acting that's what we're used to doing but there's a lot of people that are going through things that they just don't let the world know because either they're too busy <laughs> to worry about these mental things that are going on but you need to talk to somebody at least talk to somebody you know that that, that would be my advice yeah because when i when i think about um, was it Robin Williams? He was a very, very funny comedian, yeah. but yet he ended up committing suicide. And when you see him, he's always laughing, always yeah. having a great time. Even when you saw a TMZ following him, he'll make his jokes yeah. and so forth. But uh, he was hurting. And then for someone, you know, looking at them, at him, we'll think, or I think like, okay, he has a lot of money, so he should be able to get all the help he needs. Yeah, but, but getting it and, and, you know, you still have to go, you know, um, uh, your wife, you, you, you can tell you can tell your husband, which many wives tell us we need to, you know, oh, especially when it comes to, to, to counseling or putting somebody in a bit. Oh, I don't need that. They ain't going to do nothing to tell me something I already know. <laughs> that's, what <I'm> <laughs> every, that's what every man going to say. <laughs> so um, it's a very difficult thing because you become vulnerable. And a lot of times we will be vulnerable in front of our wife, but we ain't finna be vulnerable in front of some stranger. Right. So you have to let them in in order to get that stuff out. So, you know, a lot of times you're not really in a hurry to do that because it's a, women are more, uh, 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 We'll talk about stuff because y'all love to talk anyway. So if you feel that you could trust this person, then you guys will, will go ahead and do it. Men, it's, it's, it's more difficult for us. I, don't, I, I can't say why, but like I said, I think it's, it's the fact of um, being vulnerable is, is, is very tough for, for most guys. Okay. Yeah, it's, it starts at a very young age. Mm. <laughs> so thank you so much, man. Man, thank y'all for having you. me. We love you. Jordan Jackson is one of the dopest guys. Every time we reach out to him, he didn't have to come. We, we, but he came and he showed us love. It, it's only the favor of God that got him here. Hey. Exactly. So, That's man, right. thank you so much, man. Thank y'all for having me. Say, man, All been right. another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we have 101.